Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Thursday, October 24th, 2013, and here's what's coming up tonight. Tonight, Fort Hood soldiers are told Christians are radical terrorists. Then, parents need permission to pack school lunches and building an internet to nix the NSA. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. An explosive claim from a soldier who attended a pre-deployment briefing at Fort Hood says that they were told, soldiers were told that Christians, Tea Partiers, and anti-abortion activists were a radical threat tearing this country apart. He says that soldiers were told that anyone found to be supporting these groups would be subject to discipline under the Uniform Code of Military Justice. The soldier said that he was shocked and he felt like my religious liberties that I risk my life and sacrifice time away from my family to fight for were being taken away. Well, that ties into the video that aired last night, soldiers warn of the coming gun confiscation. And today on the Alex Jones Show, another veteran called in and said that he too had been given a litmus test. Let's go to uh, Jason in Missouri, who's Army and police. Thank you for calling in and holding. Sir, you're on the air. How are you doing today, Alex? I'm doing all right. What is your take on all the stuff you've heard? Well, I have five points that even if you got to hold me over, you've got to hear. I've oh. got to get this out. I'm calling from mid-Missouri. I am prior Army. I was honorably discharged. Um, in 95, our unit, and I was in a medical unit, we received an involuntary survey form from our platoon sergeant. You could not leave the facility with it. Matter of fact, you couldn't even leave the gymnasium with it. It was yes or no question. To keep in mind, 1995, 96 at the latest. The questions were as follows. The ones that I remember, would you fire upon American citizens armed? Would you fire upon American citizens unarmed? Would you quarantine American cities uh, in times of national emergency? So this was 95, and they were on a yellow card, the equivalent of the back, like your checkbook, that yellow card that's in the back, and sure. every one of us filled it out. So I would like to use your platform right now to reach out to all my previous veteran friends that know what I'm talking about. This was mid-Missouri. So as you can tell, this plan for total tyranny has been in effect for quite some time. Now, the builders of the healthcare.gov website were under fire today when they appeared before the House Energy and Commerce Committee. So once again, here we have my Republican colleagues trying to scare everybody. Will the gentleman Hoping, yield? No, I will not yield to this monkey court or whatever this thing this is. This is not a monkey court. Do whatever you want. Those insurance plans are being canceled. And they're being told they have to buy insurance through a website that doesn't work. Uh, there are thousands of websites that carry far more traffic. So I think that's really kind of a lame excuse. Amazon and eBay don't crash the week before Christmas. We Ms. Campbell, who are the best and brightest that have been invited by the White House to fix this problem? Um, I don't have individuals by name. The senior vice president of CGI Federal said that another contractor was responsible for the technology that allowed users to create new accounts, and that's what's caused the initial bottleneck issues on the site. In her prepared testimony, Campbell said, now more and more users have been able to proceed to the exchange and enroll in qualified insurance plans. However, the increased number of transactions in the exchange have caused system performance issues, such as slow response times, or data assurance issues, and now those need to be addressed through tuning, optimization, and application improvements. Now, the, the White House won't release the actual number of people who've been able to sign up through the exchanges, but we know it is well under the 7 million people they needed to sign up in order to make Obamacare work. So weren't they ready for an influx of online traffic? But that is not all we learned at today's hearing. So in less than two weeks, you're telling me that you are constantly changing code. You're introducing new code. You can't quite tell me how that's secure. In any system that I have ever seen, two months for a functionality test is not appropriate, let alone a security check on this information. 
I am more nervous today than I was when I got here. I am shocked, shocked that on August 30th you get an independent check that says the system is fine and you have introduced new code to that system probably daily, probably in the terms of hundreds of thousands of lines, at least tens of thousands of lines of new code, which creates new vulnerabilities in the system. And you don't even know the answer if these things are end-to-end -end security tested, number one. And number two, you're not even sure if it's in your piece is end-to-end -end ongoing security tested. I, I have to tell you, Mr. Chairman, this is a significant event. And you don't have to like Obamacare. You can hate it. You can love it. You can't wait to get in it. You cannot expose this much information with this low threshold of security in a day when there is one point Five million people ripped off every day in cybersecurity. Clearly, CGI has no comprehension of internet security. They should just hire some people over at the NSA because they know all about internet security and how to breach it. Uh, we don't hold data on U.S. citizens. Um, you know, I think one of the things from my perspective that is grossly misreported is everybody says uh, you're going to grab all the emails and you're going to stick them down, all the U.S. emails, and put them down in some place in the United States. One, we don't do that. I believe it is in the nation's best interest to put all the phone records into a lockbox that we could search when the nation needs to do it. Yes. Man, that guy should just wish for a pot of gold because he just speaks things into existence. This story is breaking on Infowars.com. The CIA-funded software company manages the private data for healthcare.gov. <laughs> That's right, in QTEL, the CIA's venture capital firm invested heavily in Socrata, the software company who provides data collection and management for healthcare.gov and medicare.gov. Through a press release, Socrata announced that the two entities will work together to further develop Socrata's data consumerization platform for internal business analysts and data-rich organizations. They added that users of Socrata's technologies can transform raw data from multiple sources into more sophisticated and useful resources. In other words, Socrata will work with the CIA and other intelligence agencies to transform raw data into a format that's easily utilized and accessible to the intelligence community. Healthcare.gov captures the personal data provided during the Obamacare enrollment process for this spy grid database. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not. Not wittingly. There are cases where they could in inadvertently, perhaps, uh, collect, but not, not wittingly. All right. Nope, nope. They definitely, definitely spy on Americans. And what is certain to aggravate our foreign allies even further they're spying on them as well. A confidential memo that's leaked by Edward Snowden reveals that the NSA monitored calls of 35 world leaders after a U.S. official handed over his contacts. The NSA encourages senior officials in its customer departments, such as the White House, the state, and the Pentagon, to share their Rolodexes so the agency can add the phone numbers of leading foreign politicians to their surveillance systems. Well, in response to all the spying and the blatant lying by the NSA, the BRICS countries are just going to build their own internet. Brazil is set to finalize a 34,000 kilometer undersea fiber optic cable by 2015 that will run from Russia to Brazil via China, India, and Cape Town, South Africa. The project will create a network free of US eavesdropping. However, some privacy experts fear that this will do little to stop the NSA, given that it has tapped undersea cables since the Cold War era. Well, the BRICS countries aren't the only ones that are distancing themselves from U.S. hegemony. Saudi Arabia is also threatening to shift away from the U.S. Now, Reuters reported that it was over perceived inaction with Syria and recent U.S. overtures to Iran. But another article from Washington's blog suggests a different reason. China just dethroned the U.S. as the world's largest importer of oil, 
importing 6.3 million barrels per day, compared to the United States' 6.24 million. This trend is likely to continue and this gap is likely to grow, according to the EIA's October short-term energy outlook. Well, of course, that's what happens when you ship all the jobs overseas. We have no need for oil consumption here because we have no industry to consume it. But never fear, the U.S. government is going to take care of all of us when there's no more jobs left for Americans. Actually, the plan is to just get everybody on welfare so that we can be totally dependent on Big Daddy Gov. And they're already moving to do this in federally funded schools. A school in Richmond, Virginia is following federal government instructions by telling parents that they need to have a doctor's note in order for their children to be allowed to bring packed lunches to school. The federal program's preschool initiative is funded primarily by the Head Start program, which is a Department of Health and Human Services scheme that provides education and nutritional support for children from low-income families. So under federal programs preschool, underprivileged children are provided with government-backed breakfast, lunch, and a snack, which includes ice cream and nachos during P.E. So in order to say no to the school lunch offerings of hormones, GMOs, preservatives, and grease, students must have the permission of a professional in order to avoid junk food. A parent's good judgment is not sufficient. So if you still do not get it, that total control is the plan of the New World Order, listen to this ominous warning from Thomas Jefferson. He says, if people let government decide what foods they eat and what medicines they take, their bodies will soon be in as sorry a state as are the souls of those who live under tyranny. We'll stick around for a special Halloween edition of Tyranny Watch and then a very special message from Prozac the Killer Clown. Why is nascent iodine so important? Nascent iodine is so important because it goes directly to the thyroid. It's not bonded to a salt, which means it doesn't have to be broken down, and it's the most usable form. It's what the body uses. It's what the body is designed to use. If you have low energy levels, if you have pains, if you have thyroid problems, if you don't feel up to par, well, they've proven now that the fluoride and a lack of iodine causes a decreased IQ because you have all this stuff that builds up inside your system and builds up and builds up. And that's why some people, when they start taking iodine, will have what's called a Hertzheimer reaction or a detoxification reaction. But that's a good sign. That means you're detoxifying all that fluoride buildup, the mercury buildup in there, the bromine buildup in your system, and the chlorine buildup in your system. You don't want those things. All of those things have been proven as carcinogens. That's one of the reasons prostate cancer is on the rise, too, is because prostate takes up iodine. And the men that are lacking iodine causes the prostate to become cystic and causes the prostate to swell and eventually leads to prostate cancer. There's been an extreme rise in polycystic ovarian disease, PCOS, with women, fibrocystic breast disease, because iodine is stored in the breast tissue, the ovaries, the prostate glands in men. It's utilized by every single cell in the body. Mm, why does this almost taste good compared to other iodine that tastes horrible? That's because it's real iodine, atomic form. We wanted something that's going to go straight into the bloodstream and straight into the thyroid gland. We wanted to put it in a vegetable glycerin base. That's a USP kosher certified vegetable glycerin base. And that product is not tested on animals, it's vegan friendly, it's gluten free, it's GMO free. Of all the things I've done, nascent iodine was just absolutely amazing. So we developed with Dr. Group a double strength, low price. InfoWarsLife.com, Survival Shield, the atomic nascent iodine available right now. Welcome back. Well, as you make preparations for Halloween, be sure to check yourself before you wreck yourself and make sure that you are not being racist. Welcome to Tyranny Watch. I'm Gigi Arnetta. 
This Halloween, the government wants to continue stampeding on your rights. In the spirit of crushing your freedom of expression, our educational institutions want to make sure that you don't offend anyone. Is your Halloween costume racist? University students have been told not to wear offensive Halloween costumes, including Indians, cowboys, and anything involving a sombrero. Christina Gonzalez wrote, Making the choice to dress up as someone from another culture, either with the intention of being humorous or without the intention of being disrespectful, can lead to inaccurate and hurtful portrayals of other people's cultures. So what are you supposed to do if you are one of these things? Are you supposed to carry around an ID that says, hey, I'm a cowboy, or hey, I'm Mexican? And when does it stop? For your safety, of course, the government is threatening you into not buying colored contact lenses this year for your Halloween costumes. Officials from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration Office of Criminal Investigations, along with the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Homeland Security Investigations and U.S. Custom and Border Protection, are currently in the midst of Operation Double Vision a mission aimed at seizing counterfeit or illegal imported lenses not approved by the FDA. No one should buy contact lenses from Halloween or novelty shops, salons, beauty supply stores, or online without a prescription. So why is DHS, ICE, Border Patrol all interested in your eyeballs? I mean, there's bigger, scarier things to deal with, like that health care law. Or what about the ever-so-criminal IRS? Maybe it's because they can't get a clear scan on your iris from their eavesdropping cameras that are all over the place. Sign up for prisonplanet.tv today and give your username and password to up to 10 people. I'm G. Giranetta with Tyranny Watch on the InfoWars Nightly News. Tyranny is one scary reality here in America. But another thing that you have to concern yourself with is killer clowns administering the flu shot. Flu shots. I haven't had one in five minutes. Did you hit me one time with the flu? Oh yeah! Oh. Flu shot. Get your flu shot. Get your flu shot. Get your flu shot today, today. Flu shot. Get your flu shot. Get your flu shot. Get your flu shot today, today. Come on, it's good for your brain. It'll put you right to sleep. You can walk around in a daze. Sir, did you get your flu shot? Ooh. Ooh I'm oh, a sweet right oh now. nothing like losing my memory, hair loss, cancer. You want a flu shot? It's only a little bit of poison this dosage. Sir, did you get your flu shot? Alright, he got his flu shot! Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Make your appointment with Nurse Death. Ma'am, have you had your flu shot today? You had your flu shot today, ma'am. Hey, get your flu yes, shot! Yeah. Hey, you puppy! Spray oh. mercury and yes, please, please take the thimerosal, the aluminum, and the formaldehyde. Get it today! Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics. There have been widespread concerns that mercury-based preservatives and vaccines might impair the neurological development of children. These new studies suggest that the opposite, that the preservatives may actually be associated with improved behavior and mental performance. Ma'am, did you get the flu shot? No flu shot for What are you, a racist? Oh. It's not about how many federal dollars we can receive. It's not about that. You ready? It's about race. No, nobody wants to talk about that. It's about the race of this African-American president. I don't mean to bother you. Have you gotten your flu shot today? No. I took seven flu shots this morning. I just want you to know that the flu shot is so good for you. It's got formaldehyde, aluminum, it's got the Marisol, and some of them actually have cancer in them. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't want that particular one. Well, I'm on so much Prozac right now, I'm feeling no pain, except for all the side effects. But uh, you have a great day, okay? Get your flu shot. That scared me. <laughs> Hello. 
I'm just, uh, I'm on my way to my gig, and I'm just wondering about the flu shot. What can you tell me about it? You want a flu shot? I, well, I've already had 20 today. Is that, is that recommended? <laughs> no, probably not. No? Uh, did you know that, that there are some bad things in a flu shot? I mean, good things in a flu shot? No. You got the marisol, you got aluminum, you got formaldehyde. And it causes Guillain-Barre syndrome. Do you know that? I can't even read. I used to love to read. I love to sew and crochet. I can't do that now. That flu shot did me in. Hey, were you the one that was telling me about the flu shot being bad? Because it's good. It's going to make everything so much better when the soft kill is over. Listen. When the soft kill is over, we're going to rule this place. Flu shot, get your flu shot, get your flu shot, get your flu shot. Today, today, give me a flu shot, give me a flu shot. Oh, yeah. Formaldehyde, I mean flu shot, flu cancer, I mean flu shot here. Flu shot, I gotta stop doing that. Get your flu shot, get your flu shot. Get your flu shot today. Get your flu shot, get your flu shot. It's the American way. Get your flu shot, get your flu shot. And you will stay in a system of American death and decay. Right, go get it. What could be wrong? Trust your government. Well, you can get your own Prozac the Killer Clown mask with this month's edition of the InfoWars magazine. That's right, you can be either the scary Obamacare, Obama scare, or you can be Prozac the Killer Clown and you can run around your neighborhood frightening everyone. We clearly had a lot of fun that day. <laughs> so coming up, does the Second Amendment have a time limit? Well, we'll tell you in this Thursday edition of Remembering the Alamo. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. 
Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Welcome back. All week we've been showing you clips from the open carry rally that took place at the Alamo in San Antonio this last weekend. Well, today's video, it'll have excerpts of some of the speeches as well as the rally, but it also shows you what happens to your First and Second Amendment when your time to protest is up. All right, thanks for coming out to the 2013 Line in the Sand. Come and take it to San Antonio event. Everyone line up over here for the walk. Now I do have to remind you that this is not a permitted parade walk. They will not be closing the roads for us. Well, that's it for tonight's show, but you too can take a stand by becoming a member of Prison Planet TV. We definitely need your support here as the emerging authentic media. Your subscription to Prison Planet will give you access to all of those Alamo speeches as well as the rally there, any of Alex Jones's speeches, the special reports, the movies, the rants, all of our eBooks. And you can use your username and password to share this message of truth with up to 10 other people. That's 11 of you that can be signed on at one time. So share this transmission today and become a member of Prison Planet TV. Thanks for watching. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show.